Hello people, so since the, the first video I made about uh, upgrading the new firmware in the antenna track it was not that clear because you know my English sucks so I do my best here I may again, I will shoot a video again and trying to be uh, to make things much easier, it's not that hard to do this uh, upgrade just need to follow basic steps so uh, first of all, uh, what we do? I will put link in the description on uh, my YouTube channel for the Dropbox. Uh, okay, got Dropbox. Where actually you can find the the file that you need to do the the upload. Okay, that is this one. Okay. So you go over here and then once you are in Dropbox page first first thing you have to do you have to install the driver to let the the module the unit to communicate with your computer so those are the drive you choose which one you need XP or Windows 7 uh, so go back once you install the driver you also got the the manual the PDF manual that you can uh, use and uh, see if I'm not clear enough you can check the the manual then you have to install this program this program allowed to allows you to uh, first get the serial number of the units and second to uh, upgrade upload the firmware the, to the units itself so once you have stored this program it should look like this <clears throat> okay so first thing we start with air module okay you see air module just over here you've got a, a tiny port on the back and you got an adapter and the FTDI. So this is pretty uh, simple. <clears throat> what you have to you you slide back these little things. You put your flat cable inside, then you make sure the connection is done. <clears throat> then your FTDI, you can see in the back we have got uh, 5 volts, receiver, transmitter, ground 3.3 volts. We just, uh, we, we can let 3.3 volts uh, with no connection. So first 5 volts goes to 5 volts over here. And then <clears throat> sorry, ground goes to ground receiver goes to receiver and transmitter goes to Transmitter. <clears throat> Pretty easy. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take an extension cable. I think easier. We'll connect this motor. So while okay, I take my extension cable, while you connect this to your computer, you have to hold this button that allows the the unit to go in um, programming mode. You take this. Thing, you push the button. You connect to your computer, then you release Go back on the monitor. You make sure you select the right port. Actually, the best thing is first you connect and then you open the, the program.
so as you can see is on the right port so you you do you press on read chip info start to like this and over here you have got the unique device id so you copy this id and send to uh, april from arcbert you you specify that this is the for the air module id id so once you did that go back disconnect the okay so let's go back here now we got your id you disconnect your air module and we go to connect the antenna tracker and we do the same things here we got the port you take out these things okay to connect this one it's pretty easy so you can go on the manual and uh, you will see which which were are the ports so like before it's not that complicated what hard it's not that hard just put over here so according to the manual it's pretty easy five volts five volts going to the first one then the second one receiver is the third one transmitter is the fourth one and ground is the second one okay let's make sure the connection okay now the connection is made so like before what we do okay in the back here you can see it's small button just in the back of the port you press the button while you reconnect to your uh, your computer we connect this to the computer you will hear the it's ready you release the button you open the, the same program the port is the right one and you do read chip info so here we go now you got the unique device id of the antenna tracker easy is that okay once we have got the two uh, id as i said before you make sure that which one is the id for the module and which one is the id for the antenna tracker and send that to the artboard customer service so once they got that within 48 hours they will send you back the right firmware and the firmware should look something like this they look like this their file it's right like a aat airborne and the version this one is the old version and uh, the other one it's like aat ground with the version dot x so that mean those are the the two um that's the, the, the those are the two uh firmware file that we will upgrade so the way you do it's like before you take your power unit while you press your button you connect to your computer okay you read your button you go uh, in the program i just will copy on my desktop to make it easier so um, you open the program okay the port it's it's okay now you go over here and you select the file in this case i'm doing the 
the ground module, the, the, the antenna tracker itself. So I select the, this file, I go open. Once you have done this, you just have to push start EISP and job is done. I will not do now because those are the old firmware and already update my firmware. If I can help uh, with something, if you don't understand, just let me know. I will try to help you out with this. It's not really complicated. Once you have done this uh, new uh, upgrade, uh, you, you will be able to use uh, both camera, NTSC and PIL camera. So uh, that's it. I hope it's more clear now. Thanks.